Hi, I'm Megan. Today we're going to be administering some charcoal to this dog. Uh, we're assuming that this dog got into some marijuana. Uh, we induced vomiting and have given him sub-Q fluids and now we're going to give him charcoal. And what charcoal is going to do is absorb any of the toxin that is still remaining in his system. And this dose that we're giving him also includes sorbitol, which is a cathartic, so it's going to move things through more quickly uh, so that his body doesn't absorb as much of the toxin. So it's ideal if the patient will eat it, um, especially labs. A lot of times if you just put a little ba baby food on top of the charcoal, they'll eat it out of a bowl. Uh, this guy is a little bit too sedate for that. He's not interested in eating. Um, it is important when you do have a toxin that dulls their mentation like this dog that he is still able to swallow. Uh, we certainly don't want to give him a large dose of charcoal if he's going to vomit and then aspirate it. Uh, he can swallow, he's just not interested in eating, so I'm going to administer it by hand. And this comes in these nice syringes, and I'm just going to give him small amounts at a time. And this can be a pretty messy procedure, so lots of towels, I'm wearing gloves just to keep myself clean. It's important to keep his head at a level <laughs> position. I don't want to crank his head way back because uh, that is going to make it easier for him to aspirate uh, if his neck is, is way up. I also just want to make sure that I'm giving him enough time to swallow what I'm giving him so that I don't overload him and cause any aspiration. So this process just takes patience, uh, both on my part and on his part, to get all of this in him. It's important to warn owners uh, as they take these dogs home that his stool is going to be black for maybe the next couple bowel movements so that they expect that. And that is how we give activated charcoal.